welcome back for another video but first let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god as we enter the beautiful month of february i thank you i pray that not only me but everyone around me in this world encounter all the love that you have to offer may we all rejoice in the days that you have made i declare a month full of victory joy and love may every day day of this month feel like a supernatural happy regardless happy regardless of our situation i humbly ask that you bring forth new opportunities and experiences for us let us be successful in all that we do and above all remain at the center of our hearts every day thank you lord in jesus name i pray amen so welcome back for another video if you are new welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back you guys i am still in recovery as you can see i'm just chilling around i do have a recipe to share with you guys it's a slow cooker chicken enchilada casserole i don't remember if i shared this on the channel before but i um got some food in the slow cooker it's actually on your skinny side it's a healthy recipe so i will all make sure to leave that link down in my description box just in case you guys want to go ahead and try it out Alright y'all, so right here I am drizzling some avocado oil and then I'm actually doubling up this recipe. I pretty much double almost all of the recipes because for the my family size and I also have teenage boys, it's just not enough food. So I always double up the recipes. And right here I'm adding one white onion, cumin, and also garlic and salt. The recipe would be down in my description box just in case you guys wanted to go ahead and try it out and it will show you step by step and how much to use and stuff like that. I love sharing slow cooker recipes with you guys. That's actually my number one request is slow cooker one pot recipes or something in the instant pot. Right here, I'm adding that to the slow cooker. And then next, I'm going to be adding some enchilada sauce. Each can was 10 ounces, so I added three cans of enchilada sauce. And I also added half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of water, and I think I added, oh, I did add two cans of black beans. The black beans were 15 ounces each. So I went ahead and rinsed them off. I did not use the juice. I made sure to rinse it off and then added the black beans in here. going to give all of that a good stir and then I'm going to add the chicken thighs in here it all depends you could also use chicken breasts but the recipe calls for chicken thighs my mom helped me clean the chicken and she also took the fat off so it made it so much easier for me and right now for me to digest the food it's just easier to eat a chicken thigh versus chicken breast because it's harder to digest so normally chicken breast is my favorite <laughs> but right now these days um it's definitely chicken thighs now I was able to eat from this recipe, what I did was I put it in the blender for myself and it was delicious. Right here, I'm adding corn tortillas. So what I did is I grabbed 10 corn tortillas and I uh, I sliced them, cut them into strips and I'm adding it here into the recipe. You can give it a good stir and then I add cheese. I let that cook on low for 30 minutes before I finish the rest of the recipe, which is very easy. All you have to do is just add some cilantro on top. It asks for you to also add slices of jalapeno, but my kids and husband does not like anything spicy. So I try to omit that, but you can definitely add that on there. And then I drizzle some crema mexicana on there and it's so good. You cannot tell that this is a low calorie recipe, but it is absolutely delicious. <music> I am still recovering right now I'm sitting in this chair because this is the chair that has the heating pad <laughs> you know I am recovering at the same time mother nature showed her face a whole week and a half early which I did hear that once you have bariatric surgery like even your cycle changes for a few months and then maybe it goes back to normal 
she showed up a little early sorry y'all like the mailman and stuff is um, driving by so she definitely did and all I could do right now is some Tylenol but I'm doing good every day, day that goes by I feel much much better I'm getting my water intake in I am eating purees now I'm eating purees. I went to my doctor's appointment on Tuesday to this Thursday. So I started purees that Tuesday. My mom is an angel godsend. She pureed many things. Well, she made me some scrambled eggs with cottage cheese, which by the way, cottage cheese has a lot of protein and y'all, ain't nobody tell me it tastes so good. I didn't know you can mix those two things together, but my, doc my nurse told me mix the cottage cheese with a egg y'all is delicious you don't taste the cottage cheese and it makes the egg so soft and fluffy so that was delicious I tried that out um right mom minced some turkey meat for me it's delicious it has taste it's the texture that gets me like you know the minced meat texture that's hard for me she did um one boiled potato that was very good um, everything was on the lighter side, all right, of course. So I had that and it was very good. It kept me, it, I had to take my time to eat. And then I have to get used to not using my cup to wash it, wash it down. So it's a, it, it takes getting used to because I'll be reaching over and then I have to stop myself. But it's going well so far. I've eaten cream of wheat. That's very good. That's one of my favorite things, cream of wheat and oatmeal. And that's what I've been doing, y'all. So I'm getting my protein in. I'm getting my water intake in. I am doing well. Every day that goes by, um, I feel better slightly. If I do too much, I can definitely tell. I can definitely tell when I do too much. So I need to just sit my tail down somewhere. So that's what I'm doing now. So at the beginning of, I think a few days before surgery, they weighed me at the hospital. I was 271 at the hospital. I was y'all I'm not proud to say it, but I was I was 271 and now I am 256 so I was, I'm 256 as of this morning I try not to weigh myself often because you know the scale is not your friend she, she's not gonna factor in the fact that you got your cycle or if you drink enough water or you're retaining water she's not gonna you know factor all those things in not to mention I'm very swollen right here but yeah I think I'm doing pretty well that's what like 14 pounds I think so I am proud of me. I'm doing my thing, but I didn't want to say exactly how much first because I needed to give my t myself some time to at least lose some weight, you know? But everything is going good, y'all. Now, many of y'all told me to check my P.O. box because I checked my P.O. box before I had surgery. There was nothing in there. But y'all told me to go check it. I have not left the house in a while. And then when I left, it was to go to my doctor's appointment and John was the one who took me. Um, but he checked the P.O. box last night and I got some cards, y'all. So I'm going to share that with you guys. The first one comes from Vanessa Pesotti Venafro. And when I heard that name, I'm like, I bet you that's, that's a name that sounds like she's from New Jersey. That's a New Jersey name, you know, like somewhere in that area. And then I look at the address and sure enough, you're from New Jersey. <laughs> I love that. I guess that correct but uh, I got a card from you I'm gonna show it this is the card it says time and rest gentle healing and a deep down care for uh, feeling it says querida Yesenia which means lovely Yesenia I am so so very thankful to have found you on YouTube the moment I saw you I instantly felt at home I too am Dominican and you remind me so much of family your beautiful children and sweet husband are such a joy to hold on I lost my place such a, such a joy and your friendships are so real authentic and authentic uh, thank you for your for just being your true selves sorry y'all I love your authenticity and your mommy is so much like my own little Dominican mommy <laughs> <laughs> Mom was in the background listening. That every that every time I see her with you, it warms my heart. We keep your videos playing just from the comforty sounds of your amazing recipes, great cleaning routines, and super cozy and fun daily vlogs. Thank you. Thank you for your 
for giving us a little sense of friend and family. Yours, your friends in South Jersey. Vanessa, Carlo, is it Tenny or Jenny? It's a T, so I'll say Tenny and Max. Thank you guys so much. It says that's exactly what your wish today is to feel better soon. Thank you. Wow. Muchas gracias. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you for my card. Oh, it warms my heart, you guys. I love cards. I got all sorts of cards. I got the Christmas cards, wedding anniversary cards. I got birthday cards. I got all kinds of cards. Mom, do you want to see it? La tarjeta. This one comes from Felicia. Before you continue, dile a ella que muchas gracias. Hey, mom, say muchas gracias. Por ser dominicana. Por ser dominicana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. And then this one comes from Felicia Tidwell. This is the card. It's an anniversary card. Beautiful. She writes. Mm -hmm. She has a really good handwriting. This is the card. It says celebrating all your yesterdays, toasting all your tomorrows. Wishing you both a perfect day for celebrating the fun times, great memories, and a special love you share. Much love, Felicia Tidwell. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Felicia. Y'all got anniversary cards, birthday cards. I feel like the month of January was so jam-packed, you know, with act different things and holidays. This one comes from Teresa Myers. Get a minute, Pass them to mom so she could see them too. Teresa Myers from Albany, Georgia. Okay. This is the card. It says, sometimes you wonder if it's really worth it to keep fighting for the change you feel God wants you to make. It's hard. I've been there too. And that's why I can say it really is worth it. Wow. Hello, Yesenia, you can do this. I had bariatric surgery on October 16, 2023. I truly can relate to some of the things you are going through. We will pray for each other. I pray you and your family have a blessed and prosperous new year. Um, to Yesenia and family, love Teresa and family. Thank you so much. See, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to share my journey, just in case you're considering having bariatric surgery you had surgery or anything like that, you're looking for any sort of information because when I was doing my research, y'all, I watched YouTube videos. Um, one of the people I watch is Karen San Diego. It's another one that I watch. Um, I, I can't think of it. I'll put it here somewhere. Um, and I did my research. I went on TikTok. I went on Instagram. I just researched a lot and I learned a lot before I even had the surgery. And I think that's what's helped me now with recovery because I know what's normal, what's not normal and things like that, you know? So I, that's why I try to share. You want this card right here? And then this one does not say from who it's from. Just has my, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I dropped it, y'all. Give me a minute. I can't pick up nothing. Thank you. All right, this is the card. Oh, it's a birthday card. It says, birthday paradise. I thought two weeks in Hawaii would be nice for your birthday. That would be nice, right? Uh, dearest birthday girl, I'll give you a call when I get back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Enjoy your birthday, Nicole and family. Thank you. Y'all been watching since 2020. Okay, thank you. You've been here for a while then. Wow, thank y'all. Wow. That was funny though. <laughs> I wish I was in Hawaii. And then this one, let's see. God poured out his love to fill our hearts. It says, Dear Yesenia, hope I spelled it right. You almost did. You just missed the E after the Y. Because it's Yesenia. Wishing you a you a very blessed speedy recovery thanks for sharing you and your family with us stay focused on god during your recovery and more in jesus name amen i love this scripture which is jeremiah 20 29 11. thank you so much thank you nicole and family thank y'all thank y'all i love it this one it doesn't say. It says this comes from Cleveland, Ohio. I think it's an anniversary card because there's two people on here. 
Time has a way of making love more beautiful. Dearest Yesenia and John, enjoy your special day recalling all the blessings God has given you to share. Happy anniversary, you and your you. Uh, your YouTube follower, Nicole and family. Oh, you sent me another one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all. I'm going to show these to John when he gets home from work. This one comes from the Bronx, New York. Okay. Merry Christmas. I got a Christmas card. For all the warmth and happiness you bring, this wish this wishes you a Christmas that sparkles with joy, shine with your favorite memories. For all the joys you give, you gave through the year, watching you and your family all the best for 2024. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you so much, y'all. From Felicia Tidwell. I love it. I always recognize her name, y'all. She's always sending me cards. Praying for, for you on this better path to better health the one who made us know how to mend us gently wisely and gent and patiently thank you so much those who trust in the lord will renew their strength they will soar on the wings like, like eagles and they will run not become weary they will walk and not faint thank you felicia thank you thank you so nice and another felicia card okay girl it's also a birthday card. Oh, she put $10 in there. Thank you. And you know where this is going to go? This is going to go in my get new clothes in a few months jar or account. I'm putting some money to the side because I know I like to go shopping. <laughs> and there's no better reason to get your party on. Enjoy it all. Always hugs, Felicia. Thank you, Felicia. That was so kind of you. Thank you. That was all the cards that I got in my P.O. box. Um, they definitely warmed my heart, you guys. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. So my mom's upstairs changing so you guys can see her. But when I'm up and at it and moving around the house, I have to wear this thing. Because when I'm moving, uh, my stomach moves and it hurts. It's very uncomfortable. But this is a stomach binder. And I love this thing. Hopefully I don't have to use it for long. But right now, it's getting me through. I don't do it perfectly, but I cannot wear it when I'm sitting down. But when I'm up, whew, I feel like I got some support, especially on, you know, my back and my stomach. So, not the cutest thing ever, but it gets the job done. <laughs> Y'all, mom is back down, so you want to say hi to the people? Good morning, my people. Hi, my girls. How are you? They ain't seen, been seeing you in a few vlogs. Mom's been hiding you guys. Yeah, because it's cold. I all in my pyjama Mom? or in my robe or whatever. <laughs> but I'm bending. I pay attention. Thank you so much for your love. Um, right now, Mom is in the mood to mess with her plants. Like she's been having this on her mind for days. But today is the day to do a little juju and mixing around and stuff. So she's yeah, like, I'm gonna make a little arrangement over here in the corner. Yeah. Like declutter a little bit. Yeah. Declutter the plant. So she's, yeah. you know, putting that one up on the shelf. The, what kind of plant is that one, Mom? Uh, it's, it's a Swiss cheese. I think it's something a, like that. It's, it's the same Swiss cheese. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Swiss this cheese. This is a baby. It used to be a baby. Look at now. If you guys been here, you guys remember when we got this plant from Lowe's and Mom, um, made it into like three plants because it was uh -huh. so it was in one little thing and it became so much. And one of them, Margarita has it in her house, and she says it's growing beautifully. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so. Ah, but this is the other baby. That's the other baby, and then the main one is over there. Y'all know I keep it in the living room. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, she's just doing a little switcheroo, so. She's growing. She's growing big. Yeah, but mom, the leaves are facing the wall. Okay, it's, it's no way to turn it. I don't know. Do we, have a she is. Do we have a stick or something? Um... Um, if you put a stick, it's gonna be like this. No, no, just let it be. This the is way. the way it is. Yeah, just let it hang the way it normally hangs. Yeah, this is. No, way. no, it's not so heavy. I know. No. I know. Yeah, just let it hang. And it's all here. Yeah. This is the way she is. <laughs> but then she, she positioned it like Yeah, yeah, yeah I will, think so too. She will position it. We need to have patience. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna change the, the little bottle one. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna change it. This is the way she is. And just let her hang and do her thing. Oh, you on the right, you're doing it like this. Sí. Bueno, yo lo dejo así. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to do a little switcheroo over here. I'm trying to see how she looks much better. So far, you guys, so one thing my mother did recently is she put some eggshells in the oven, let it dry out, and then what you did, she put it in the blender and let it turn it into dust. Do you like it like this? No. No? Let's just be being honest. Okay. I just like it hanging. Yeah, just she let got it. position in, in, in yeah. her own way later. And she turned into dust and then she sprinkled the plants with the eggshells. So, but why did you do that, Mom? What was the purpose of that? It's Let's calcium, it provide calcium and a lot of nutrients to the plant. Yeah. So many nutrients. Uh -huh. like the eggshell, uh -huh. I collect it all because uh -huh. we make a lot of um, air, Scramble egg for the kids for school. Mom saved the eggshells. And I collect them all. I wash it out, rinse it out, put it in the, in the oven, mm -hmm. and let it stay overnight, like one or two days, just leave it in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then when it's dry, really dry, I put it in the food processor. Yeah. And anilla. Uh huh. And make a powder. Yeah, and she's sprinkling. And it. sprinkle to it. Something else she's been sprinkling on the pan. Uh, I mean, on the uh, the plants is coffee. The coffee. The coffee ground. The this coffee ground the coffee. coffee. Uh -huh. After she uses it, she's been doing that as well, and they're doing very well. So let me show you guys. They're doing very well. The only thing is wind. This is Peggy. She's doing pretty good. She's she been like blossoming, but then you know she drops her petals and stuff, which I, I need to. She's recovering. And look, it's a brown, all brown leaf, uh, uh -huh. brand new leaf. Uh, yeah. She's recovering for really big back weather outside. Yeah. I've recovered her. Oh, what are you trying to say, Mother? The way you because said it with that voice. Outside. I was dying outside. Yeah. I was dying in the patio. But it's the way you said it, though. In a heavy winter. I recover her. Recover? I, can, I have to come over here to Georgia to <laughs> bring it inside. To bring it in. <laughs> Look now, she's so happy. She is. So she's gonna be there for a while, y'all. I need to. I, I, well, I wouldn't say I need to. Pop. She. We're just waiting for the warmer weather. So she is gonna go back outside when it gets warmer. But right now, because it's cold, this one and this one are in the house. Yeah. Now, Miss Blanche. Hey, girl. Stay on it or the house. No, don't say that. Big Mama will not accept you saying that. No, no. After Big Mama, she's gonna be the next. Look at her. She's an apprentice, but if you, Big Mama hear you say that, Mom, <laughs> she takes it personal. She's been here for over I seven know. years, but Blanche has been here since last year, and she was so small when I got her, and look at her, y'all. When I tell you she is blossoming, she is full and beautiful. Oh, my God, and she loves having babies. And guess what? I want to ask everybody if you know how to take care of peperomia. I do not... <laughs> I don't know how to treat her. Look at her. So, sure. I've been having this If I put water, years. she's sad. If I not put water, she's um, over sad. I don't know how to treat her. She, she's sad either no. way. When we water her or we don't water her, she's mad. Please, and if somebody we, know how to take in care of pepperoni. And we've had her for two years now, and this is what's left of her. She's always mad. She have a new baby, look. Wow. But when she have a baby, look. Yeah. I see, Mom, she has then all she, the time. Yeah, but then she, then she starts, dies and falls off. I don't know what to do with her. Look. That, ah, see? There's one plant that Mom does not do well with. Mm -mm. And then there's this one. We, we, Mom recovered this for the boys' room. Devin, huh. Devin plant. Yeah, that's Devin plant. And then look at my home girl right here. She needs to be cleaned. Now I need to I spray some the air shell. Uh -huh. I have to rinse it out. I spray ah, some gotcha. water in the leaf. Yeah, but she's doing quite well, you guys. Mm -hmm. She's doing well. Mm -hmm. she's oh, there's another one. one in there. Do you even see yeah. that? It's a, a, a new one. She's... Did you rotate her? Like rotate yeah, her around? Rotate. Yeah. Rotate. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to move everything now and clean and position, mm -hmm. reposition it and, yeah. and clean the filter. I need to get you a new one. It's a new thing that goes at the bottom. Uh, a sticker thing that's what catches the the the, the little bugs. Uh -huh. I need, I got it in the thing. I'll give it to you real quick. But okay. that's what's going on with the plants, you guys. Mom is in plants mode, and then this one right here, y'all already know she's Sophia, the original. 
And she, is she going back in the room like this? I'm going to uh, position her. Position her, okay. Let me show you guys Big Mama. All right, you guys. So this is Big Mama in the living room. This is what we call, this is a pothos plant. This is the one we were talking about that you cannot, um, she's the original, the one plant that literally been here since the beginning. Uh, and now when I tell you she loves having babies, I love her. She is nice and full. Um, now, normally I ship Big Mama to my friends, but I don't do it in the winter time. In the winter time when I ship her, she dies because it's too cold. And in the summer, she dies because it's too hot. So I try to time it correctly in the springtime. So I don't ship Big Mama like I just do get a stem and ship it out. I don't do that in the winter and I don't do that in the summer, only in the spring because she dies either way from both weathers, too hot or too cold in a box to be shipped, yeah. So winter time is not the time for me to do any of that. And then my ZZ, I love her. But mom had a talk with her and a stern talk. Cause homegirl is right here by the window and she got lazy. She didn't have no babies or nothing. So mom had a good stern talk with her and guess what? Oh, y'all, you see that baby? When ZZ plants grow, they look like this. They look like um, asparagus. Well, mom is putting Sofia back. I think so. Let's try the um, recogida. Yeah, yeah. She's growing so much. Yeah. And I like recogida because they start growing. Yeah, going around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Recogida means when they're um nice and positioning yeah. in a different way. Yeah, but she's doing well. I think so, mom. Mm -hmm. Mom had a, yeah, but mom had a good stir and talk with her too because she's spoiled. She got her, I bought her a whole life for her and everything and she wasn't doing nothing. Yeah, she got her own life and nobody else has some life, only her. And she's still cranky. She better not. <laughs> she better not. She be better not. Time. And that's it. For today, I can't mess it around too much. Mm -hmm. It's too cold outside. It's freezing. That's why the plants ain't too happy right now. Well, no, I will say they're pretty happy, but not like they are in the summer. In the summer, everybody having babies around here, except for me. So my mom has been wanting to clean this area for a while, but today was the day where she had the energy to do it because she hasn't been feeling well. And y'all, it's like a cold is going around the house. Everyone's like taking turns, but she's been meaning to do this for a while. But shout out to my mom. Let me tell you, I have the best mom ever. It is such a blessing. This whole thing I'm going through has been so very easy for me because I'm telling you so many people came through for me that I was shocked. Like Not shocked with my mom, but like people in general because I was scared to even do anything for myself because of the fact it's something that I'm doing for myself. And I feel like I was inconveniencing so many people um, to do what I had to do for myself. But my mom, when I tell you, she has made, like, she literally is the best. She made sure that this whole transition was like so easy. I didn't have to worry about it. Um, even when the allergic reaction, like she, it was hard with the allergic reaction I had in, with the adhesive. It was hard when I took a shower, I couldn't bend. She helped me put my clothes on. Like she helped me dress. She was changing my bandages for me. Well, John was at work like she literally took the best care of me of me not just of me but my husband and my children and that is such a blessing hopefully my prayer is that one day I get to pass that along to my children and I am there for them for whatever they got going on for when they have kids themselves anything I want to be able to do that for my children as well but you guys ask me where I get my energy from and why I'm always cleaning I get it from my mom literally she does that like mom will literally pass by and pass her finger her hand over something see if there's dust there <laughs> that's what I'm always dusting <laughs> like it's just naturally that way she used to own a housekeeping big business back in the day so she cleaned houses and she was so good at it so it's like naturally in us like even before that it was just naturally in us to do that and it's crazy it's hard for me to just chill while she works and I just sit there and watch it's very hard but I am so grateful and thankful for that I really am <music>
lunchtime, I'm about to warm up my puree and um, eat some lunch. I think I'm hungry, but I don't know. It's the weirdest feeling. I, I, sorry for the background noise, but it's the weirdest feeling. I'm hungry, but I don't know if I'm hungry. And they told me I need to eat frequently because yesterday I didn't eat as much. And I just didn't, it's because I didn't want to. Even though I slightly felt hungry, it's because I didn't want to. Um, and today I feel like that too, but I have to push for some more because the doctor told me I'm not eating enough calories. So, I'm about to eat lunch. And whatever I eat from it is what it is. I, did, I am trying to do better today. I think I feel hungry though. I think so. It, everything just feels so different. Hey guys, so it's now two days later. I was actually going to film yesterday, but my mom and I went to go get our nails done. Y'all, I feel like a whole new woman. I got my nails back. Y'all know I, I be wearing my nails, but because I had to give my nails a break and then with the surgery and the EDG, you can't wear her nails, they told me. So I just waited it out, but I am back. My nails are back. You won't see a lot of this. And I'm just playing. So we did that. And then afterwards, we went to the bakery in Waynesboro. If you live here in Augusta, this is bakery here called Pineland. Not here, because this is now Waynesboro. But it's not far from here. And it's called Pineland. And it's absolutely delicious all of their stuff is homemade and made from scratch it's like the best so that's where I order my birthday cakes from and they made Devin's birthday cake and then in the bakery area they had um, a bunch of like Valentine's Day themed uh, desserts so they had the donuts were shape of our hearts and everything was red velvet and it was so pretty so uh, John and mom got a few little treats for the kids for and they ate that yesterday. I was just in there in the bakery just watching everyone and all the goodness. And that's okay though. But we went to do that and then afterwards we went to Walmart to grocery shop. Let's just say by, all of, by the end of all of that I did bring water with me in a premier protein but I had the jitters and I was feeling lightheaded and sick. So I came home, took a shower and laid down and also ate as well. But today's a whole new day. Today's Saturday and I woke up a little later and I um, went on a walk with the boys. Destiny was still sleeping, but I went on a walk with them. I was able to do 16 minutes. Before I used to walk, before surgery, I was walking a lot longer. But right now, that's all I can do before my stomach starts feeling like it's pulling from the inside. So uh, I stopped, but I got my walk on, and now I'm gonna walk again later. I gotta kinda pace myself, but it's lunchtime. And I got grabbed these from Walmart, these bumblebee um, tuna fish. It has 17 grams of protein. So I can't wait to try it to see what it tastes like. But today, we're actually celebrating Devin's birthday. It's actually on Monday, but of course Saturday. We're celebrating it now. And he just wanted a quiet dinner. So he wanted steak and onions, mashed potatoes, and stuff like that. So we'll be preparing that in a few hours. It's still a little early. And then we'll just um, celebrate his birthday. He was, right, he was outside riding his bike while we were walking. That was his birthday gift, because the kid is tall, so we had to get him a bigger bike. Um, but let me eat some lunch real quick, because I am starting to feel hungry. This morning I had cottage cheese and sugar-free jello uh, or jelly. It was pretty good. I liked it. You know, cottage cheese has a lot of protein in it. Funny how I pay attention to all these things now. <laughs> all right, y'all. So right now I'm going to do asparagus wrapped in bacon. Very easy to do. Um, I'm just putting some seasonings in this bowl so like that I can sprinkle it over the asparagus. Very easy. I use garlic salt. I didn't measure. I just used a little spoon just to, you know, scoop out of it. But I used garlic salt, regular salt, and pepper. Be light on the regular salt because of the fact that you add um, garlic salt in here. And then I drizzled the asparagus with some olive oil. And once I did that, I sprinkled the seasoning over the asparagus. And then I wrapped, I'll say, because these were some skinny asparagus, okay? So th these, I wrapped about five asparagus in a bunch with the bacon now this is some thick bacon i did not use thin bacon so uh just keep that in mind and then i put it in the oven for 400 degrees for 40 minutes because of the fact that the bacon was so thick 
can only have maybe mashed potatoes and that's it. Um, but we're getting ready to sit down to eat dinner. It looks delicious, mom. Thank you so much. It looks really good. See? He's taking his sweet time. <laughs> You got y'all want to say hey to Margarita and Arnold Jr. Hold on, hold on. Y'all want to say hi? Hi. Say, say hi. Hi. How you guys doing in the road? Are they on the road? Driving. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful out there. It's beautiful out here too. The weather is really nice. People been asking about y'all. office editing this vlog I'm trying to get back to the swing of things slowly but surely I'm getting there you guys so be patient with me I am feeling good today I'm feeling good I've been drinking my water I'm gonna go downstairs soon to eat some lunch and then probably finish off this video but I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog the schedule should my posting schedule should be going back to normal soon I'm thinking I just take every day, day, you know, a day at a time, you know, because some days I wake up feeling a little different than others. So, um, but I am feeling good, y'all. I am feeling great. Um, I hope y'all are doing amazing. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Devin's turning 15 tomorrow. That's crazy to me. I remember giving birth to him like it was yesterday. It was literally in February, in February, of course. And we lived in Colorado. In the middle of a snowstorm so it was not the best timing it was like two three o'clock in the morning it was snowstorming i gave birth to the boys in a military hospital in colorado and um i remember they made me walk the halls and <laughs> this poor young soldier felt so bad for me he saw me in agony he had for me in a wheelchair so i'm like no i'm supposed to be walking right now but um I feel like it was just yesterday and I have a 15 year old. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye y'all.